So first off, we have these box fish. You need a lot when you're a marine wholesaler because a lot of people want them. This right here are yellow spotted Antheos fish. A really cool fish in my opinion. These looked kind of weird, but also very cool. And of course a ton of lionfish mixed together with other oddball aquarium fish. This fish is very expensive, right now it looks cool but when it gets bigger it loses the color and it's a boring fish, kind of. These look really cool too, look at those very long fins. I like them and they get big too. All the corals are in these massive ponds, surrounded by other tanks with a lot of aquarium fish. I think they have over 10,000 fish in here, if not more. Possibly worth a few million dollars. They have this massive, massive fish. Looks really cool. Same with this fish. But it's kind of scared of my hand. I think it can see me. These fish are actually brackish, if I'm correct. Because I've seen them before in both uh, brackish tanks and saltwater tanks. There he is again. He's not really scared of my hand. And these are a bit smaller than the others I showed before. Later in this video I have a secret breeding facility tour for you. With a lot of sharks and other expensive and very rare aquarium fish. These fish were pretty funny, look at their heads. And these octopus are very, very poisonous. They can kill you. Not sure what was in here, but it was hiding. This is a cool fish as well and very fast. They also have a lot of puffer fish and I love puffer fish, so... I was very happy to see them. More puffer fish, multiple in one tank. And just a ton of these yellow fish. Now, these were kind of boring. And this one is beautiful, but it will grow very, very big and it's a monster fish. I wouldn't be sticking my hands in this tank. This one too, it was hunting already. These tanks were massive. And as well, these were very boring. And these look kind of, kind of weird actually. Never seen them before. Some lovely fox face. And even more. These look pretty cool too. They are very high actually. Pretty weird. And cowfish. They are also very cute. Look at those little horns. And next to it, more boxfish. Some fish have their scientific names above the tanks and some don't. These are pretty scary too. I know they can bite very hard. Some more Antheos and a lot of yellow tanks. These were kind of small actually. And a ton of these fish mixed in with the corals. Some horseshoe crabs. They have a ton of these too. And these are pretty rare. And 100 clownfish. The puffer fish you see next to uh, the white with black fish is a very expensive puffer fish. It can cost up to $2,000. And of course, seahorses. Seahorses are very cute too. Some nurse sharks. Now we're moving over to the sharks. The lights were off, so I had to use this UV light to watch the sharks. And this was very creepy actually. 
because the tanks were dark and there were sharks everywhere. And of course, stingrays. And then all of a sudden, another shark. Like I said, there were sharks everywhere. Look at this one. And it was massive already. This fella came looking at me too. And then, boom, two sharks. So here you can see some people grabbing some corals for their fish stores. And this giant, giant clam. Everyone was, th was taking pictures of it. And of course, the baby clams. These look very cool too. Some SPS corals. And more SPS corals. In a massive pond. Like it's very shallow, but it were to be a feet deep or more, you can swim in it. And all these corals you see here are leftovers, so they broke off off of big pieces and they're just growing in there. And the corals you see at your fish store are just one or two, but here they have 100 of it. Look at all these fungia. A ton of anemones. And more anemones. And even more. Oh no, this, the, uh, these are other LPS corals mixed with anemones. These look very nice too. I wish I could take some home for my tank. And this fish was very, very fast too. And there it goes. This was just one beautiful piece. And now, the secret breeding facility. These are some very cool fish named after this wholesale facility. A ton of antheas. These fish are about $500 per fish. And they're also breeding a ton of clownfish in this facility. All sorts of clownfish. Black clownfish, orange clownfish. In this massive pond, they keep other sharks and big, big stingrays. I saw some and they were massive. They also have these ponds. A little bit smaller, but also very big fish inside. And I enjoyed touring this so much. I been to this facility for about five times now and this was the first time I was seeing the breeding facility like a thousand clownfish in a tank and not even one dead fish they all look very healthy and they don't stay in that tank for long so it's not sad for them and all the breeding pairs of clownfish they all had eggs like you can see there the orange part here they keep the small fry. Different sorts of clownfish in different stages. And a ton of these fish finding Dory. <laughs> and some more fish. And more clownfish of course. More lionfish in a giant pond. And again, more and more clownfish. I think they had around 10,000 clownfish in this facility. It was insane. These were very small actually. I think they're fry of some sort. Of course, more seahorses. And these very rare seahorses. I think they're called dragon seahorses. And... They're pretty rare too. And I've never seen them before in real life, only on pictures and videos. My colleague took this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Share it with your friends and like this video. Thanks for watching.